Mac Studio Review. So, here it is the Apple Mac Studio, which is considered the latest most powerful device. When Apple announced the Mac Studio at its March event, most people had been taken by surprise. As you may also know that there had been rumors about a new MacBook Air and maybe a new M2 chip. However, no one predicted a completely new Mac. It was surprisingly incredible. Apple Macs are some of the most interesting gadgets the company is presently producing, and the new Apple Studio displays a welcome item of the family. A big section of this is the M1 chip. So in 2020, Apple ditched Intel and launched a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and Mac Mini all powered by means of its very own MoM hardware. It used to be a massive success, providing exceptional overall performance and power efficiency, and in late 2021, Apple multiplied the silicon with the M1 Pro and M1 Max chips, which presented significantly greater performance and launched alongside the MacBook Pro 14-inch 2021 and MacBook Pro 16-inch 2021. Since the Mac Studio is a computer-aimed device at creative professionals, it comes with a preference for the M1 Max or the new M1 Ultra, which is in fact two M1 Max chips linked together by a low latency interface and is supposed to be our most powerful PC currently available. And it is considered the faster one, which I had used before. In simple words, it is faster than any other devices. Actually, this doubles the quantity of unified memory as properly as the variety of CPU and GPU cores and in some instances provides nearly twice the overall performance of the M1 Max. A Mac Studio equipped with the M1 Ultra is the perfect solution if you need a PC powerful enough to handle a lot of heavy-duty tasks, such as rendering complex 3D scenes and animations or quickly compiling and checking out code across a number of virtualized machines. To see if a game performs well on more than just a few generations of smartphones, for example, and I must say, while no longer pretty the most effective Mac Apple has ever made, it's truly encroaching on the Mac Pro space. If I say honestly, according to my opinion, the Mac Studio isn't for mainstream users. However, if you're an expert or experienced user searching for an effective PC, then it honestly is its charms and you can surely try this one. The Mac Studio is an impressively compact machine or device and you can say a portable gadget. Around the size of one and almost half of the Mac Mini stacked on top of every other. Its small size makes it convenient to set on a desk or on the back of a monitor, making it appear accurate in domestic workplaces and studios. It's additionally effortlessly portable if you prefer to take it between locations. It's somehow heavy but compact, so you can easily carry it in a bag. The aggregate of compact format and effective overall performance goes a long way to justifying the excessive rate tag. And the reality that Apple has made such an effective and small PC absolutely is impressive. But if you really need this one for your heavy workload, then trust me, a price is just a number. But again, it's totally up to you if you really need it for your work or not. According to my concern, as we like to see with PC for innovative professionals, Apple has included an appropriate choice of ports, which includes an all-important SD card reader in the front. In my tests and experience with this, the Mac Studio performs beautifully, dealing with 8K video modifying extraordinarily properly and using superior AI-powered picture editing equipment in Adobe Photoshop. Even I am pretty impressed. It does all this quietly a testimony to the power effectivity of Apple's M1 chips, as nicely as the thermal plan of the Mac Studio. If you're an innovative professional searching for an effective and compact PC to work on, the Mac Studio is going to be a very tempting investment. And I must say, for this gadget, Apple needs to be recommended for what it's done with this. However, for mainstream users, you're likely better off searching elsewhere. And yes, if you are a fan of the Mac Mini, then you may also like the design of the Mac Studio. It appears like a beefed up model of its little brother. It's constructed from a single aluminium extrusion and has a square footprint of 7.7 .7 inches and a top of 3.7 inches, making this an impressively compact PC thinking about the power on offer. I will go into a bit more detail in a moment about what the Mona Ultra offers in terms of performance, but it's obvious that there's simply no other PC with this level of performance in such a compact chassis. For the professional users who have a small amount of area to work on in their own place, or who like minimalist setups, the Mac Studio is going to genuinely appeal. 
The Mac Studio additionally comes with an actual variety of connectivity options. There are four Thunderbolt 4 ports, a 10 GB Ethernet port, two USB ports, an HDMI port, and an audio jack on the back, plus Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0. In addition to this, it has two USB-C ports, along with an SD card slot on the front, which round out the internals of the MacBook and provides plenty of options for connecting peripherals and devices. According to my opinion, it would be nice if Apple continued to provide a lot of connectivity with its professional hardware. If you have the M1 Ultra model, you can plug in four Pro Display XDR monitors and a 4K TV as well. And I must add a thing. Maybe you know that or not. When Apple introduced this Mac Studio, it threw out some huge claims, along with that it is 50% quicker than the MacBook Pro 13-inch with an Moon chip and provides 3.4 faster graphics than the most effective iMac. And guess what? It's additionally surprisingly 80% quicker than a Mac Pro with a 28-core Intel Xeon processor and can assist up to 18 streams of 8K Pro Res video. These boasts refer to the competencies of the Mac Studio with the new Moon Ultra chip, which is the model I have for review, and possibly to be the model most serious creatives are tempted by. And let's talk about more. So when it comes to video, the Mac Studio places in an overall performance that effortlessly rivals and once in a while surpasses computer PC with discrete professional graphics cards. This is remarkable sufficient earlier than you even element in the compact size of the Mac Studio. It is the graphical grunt to deal with 18 streams of 8K photos on the fly, which we tried for ourselves in Premiere Pro, permitting us to view, edit, and add results except having to wait for something to render. The smoothness of the footage, even with several 8K factors on the display at once, is relatively marvelous at one factor the Mac Studio was once placing via 8 billion pixels per second, and it coped admirably. So according to me, this is great to perform your overloaded work. So if you really need a decent, stylish, and effective powerful Mac Studio, it is the best device to invest in. Or, if you do not have much of heavy work, then you can consider any other. So, here it is. I hope you like this review about Mac Studio. We'll be back soon with another interesting video. Till then, do subscribe to the channel, and yes, like, share, and comment on this video.